What's up guys, this is Hardik here and today I'll be showing you guys how to convert your Android device into a Google Pixel or a Pixel XL. So without any further ado, let's begin. So the first thing you notice in the Pixel is the colored navbar or the white navbar. So to get the navbars here, it's pretty pretty simple. Just all you do is go into the first link in the description below and there will be download link. It says pixelstuff.zip. So basically what this will do is it will also give you the Nexus launcher and the white nav bars. So if you already have the pixel launcher and just want the color nav bar, what you have to do is go into the zip file over here and go into system, go into prevap and just delete the Nexus launcher from over here. I already did it so there is no option for me here. But I just have to do is delete the Nexus launcher and then you're good to go. And just go into the recovery mode and just have to do is flash the zip file. And once you reboot, you'll get the colored nav bars over here. So again, first link in the description below, do check it out. The next thing that you notice in the Google Pixel here is the rounded icons. So basically, you have to get the rounded icons without using any launcher. For example, Nova, Apex and stuff like that. So here, I'm using a stock Pixel launcher. But I can also get the rounded icons in the Pixel launcher itself. So basically what you have to do is just download an app called as Awesome Icons. So this here is the app itself. So as you can see the Pixel Launcher is selected default by over here. It also supports Google Now Launcher. But yeah, for now I'll be using the Pixel Launcher itself. Then what you have to do is go into the Play Store and search for Pixel Icons. Pixel Icons. So once that's done as you can see this the first app over here which is actually a paid app. But it's really really worth it. So to do is just download this app here. It's like around one dollar or something like that. So just have to do is buy this. Touch to continue. Just put all your information in, and then you're done. So as you can see, it's installing on my device. So let it install, and we'll be right back. So once the download has been completed, just have to do is open the app here. And as you can see, it says apply a theme, but as you can see, we don't have any of these uh, launchers or, uh, installed on our device. So what we do is just go back. You can also see the check the icons that you that will get here. So there you go. These are all the icons which you have and stuff. So yeah, just go back, go into the awesome icon packs, and as you can see, you got the circular icons right over here. So then what you have to do is just either hit on the icon over here and hit OK and it says shortcut created. So basically as you can see the shortcut is now created. So I can just like remove the arrow from over here. I can just drag the shortcut from over here to over here and just place it. So let's see. Let's do it for create a studio. So again awesome icons app. Scroll down to the create studio. Let's see this one tap on it. Hit OK. Shortcut created. Remove this icon and just place this right over here. So as you can see, this is how you can get all the circular icons on your Android device as well. So that's a really neat thing. And also the icon pack is really, really worth the price. You can also use this in Nova Prime and Apex Launcher. That will give you the full access to change the icons over here as well. But in Pixel Launcher, you could only change the icons from the uh, home screen itself. So yeah, so the next thing you notice in the pixel here is of course the Google Assistant. So basically how to get the Google Assistant is that I already made a video on that. So if you want to check it out, just hit the link in the description below or there will be a card right over here. So after this video is done, you could go ahead and check that out as well. The next thing you notice in the Google pixel over here is the new dialer. As you can see this here is the new dialer and you get all the new stuff over here as you can see. The biggest change in this here is the basic UI so if you if you just call someone let's say we'll call one to one and if I just call over here as you can see the dialer uh, the basic UI here is changed so even if you get a call just have to do is just have to do is swipe up to answer the call and swipe down to reject the call so it's that easy you could also put in a speaker you could use the dial pad and stuff as you can see to disconnect the call just have to do is hit here and the call will be disconnected so that's actually a really neat feature Many people hate this thing, but yeah, I do think it's like really cool. So the next thing that the XT developer did port from the Pixel XL is the new camera. So as you can see, you have the new camera. The default one is over here, but you have the new one, which is camera NX1. If you just open the camera real quick, everything will seem normal. Uh, you now have the grid, grid thing over here, so you can change the grid and stuff like that. But if you just go back 
let's select this one and let's see uh, we'll take this one over here and if you just tap on here to focus as you can see you could adjust the manual exposure over here so if you want it to be bright you just have to do slide up if you want it to be dim just have to do slide down and then just snap as you can see the snap sound was different as well if you could hear that uh but yeah basically that's the camera itself nothing much has changed actually just few minor things uh and that's it also do not use this camera as your primary camera because the hdr it does is actually really really bad than the default camera so use the default camera for hdr but yeah other than that everything's fine i'll be giving the camera apk link in the description as well so do check the description out. next thing that you'll notice in the pixel xr is the new google keyboard so basically again go into the link in the description as i said and download the uh, latin imea google prebuild apk i'll be providing all the apks in the description below also to the official xta pages where you'll get tons and tons of uh, apps that i haven't installed yet so yeah just check the description out again and install any app that you want on your android device what you just have to do is install the google keyboard over here and then you're good to go so just have to do is to get the layout here just have to do is scroll over down to language and input go into virtual keyboard go into google keyboard go into themes and just select this theme over here which will give you the pixel feel basically the default will be this one but you can select this one or if you want the white pixel thing just have to do this or this so yeah that's pretty much it that's simple it is to install the apk and get the google keyboard working on your device so yeah that's pretty much it also if you want the google pixel launcher i'll be providing that link in the description as well yeah for now that's pretty much it guys thanks for this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and also tell me guys what what videos you want to see in the future on this channel and i'll make a video on that as well so yeah that's about it thank you for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in my next one